First, we have this note for our viewers. Today, Larry King was scheduled to interview John McCain, and CNN was uh, supposed to run excerpts of the interview during our primetime coverage. However, a senior McCain campaign advisor tells CNN the interview has been pulled because of a segment CNN ran, ran last night during Campbell Brown's election center. The segment was about uh, Senator McCain's running mate, Governor Sarah Palin, and it involved this portion of an interview with McCain's spokesman, Tucker Bounds. Can you just tell me yeah. one decision that she made as commander in chief of the Alaska National Guard? Just one. Yeah, she has made any decision she has made as the commander of the National Guard that's deployed overseas is more of a decision than Barack Obama has been making as he's been running. Okay, so for tell me, for the tell last me what it is. Give me an example of one of those decisions. I'm just curious. Just one decision she made in her capacity Campbell, as commander Campbell, in chief of the National Guard. Campbell, certainly you don't mean to belittle every experience, every every judgment that she makes I, as commander I, I, of the I'm National Guard. I'm belittling nothing. These, I, I just want to know mm -hmm. one one judgment or one decision. Well, I, I would love to know what one decision was. I'm not belittling anything, Tucker. I'm really not. I, mm -hmm. I just, I'm curious. As she, yeah. As she makes a decision as to how to equip, how to command the National Guard of the in Alaska, that but is Tucker, more those are the Pentagon's and more decisions. of a judgment That's than General Barack Obama's Petraeus. making on the That's campaign the trail. That's my only argument. No, no governor. No governor makes decisions about how to equip or deploy the National Guard. That, you know, when they go to Iraq, that those decisions, uh, actually, as you actually, well Campbell, know, are made by do. the Pentagon. Campbell, Campbell on, on a factual basis, they certainly do. In Alaska, if you if you have any sort of emergency, as things are happening in your state, the National Guard is under the command of the governor. That is more of a command role than Barack Obama has ever had. I would argue that on our ticket, John McCain and Governor Palin, between the two of them, have far more command experience in the military than either of the candidates on the Democratic side. And I do want to argue that this is about the top of the ticket. Ultimately, when people go into the ballot box and decide between Barack Obama and John McCain, they're going to decide between John McCain's record of reforming Washington and Barack Obama's rhetoric on the campaign trail. Doesn't have a lot of experience, certainly has no military experience, no command military experience, which both of our candidates have. That's an important distinction. I think voters will make the right call in November. All right, Tucker, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give it to you, baby. Uh, we'll end it there. Thank but you, I really I appreciate, I, I appreciate you coming on and taking the time to, to have mm -hmm. this debate. I think it's important. People, you know, don't know yeah. a lot about her and they, they want to understand uh, her qualifications as much as possible. We're not beating you up here. We're not trying to. We're just trying yeah. to educate ourselves and educate our viewers. Yeah. So I really do appreciate your time and thank you for coming on. The McCain campaign said it believed that exchange was over the, the line, and as a result, the interview scheduled uh, for Larry King live with Senator McCain was pulled. CNN does not believe that Campbell's interview was over the line. We are committed to fair coverage of both sides in this historic election. You can see the entire interview, by the way, at CNN.com. We hope Senator McCain will join us here on CNN in the very, very near future.